What up traders? Happy Monday. It is about 7.42 right now. Um, so Globex is open up. This video is going to be a little different since the market is open up right now. I'm still going to review what happened uh, today. So Monday during regular trading hours. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. And I'm going to be marking up the charts for tomorrow with you guys too. So you can see how I go about doing that. Um, but today's action, all right, so today's action is on the left, uh, we're going to start with the profile. For the non-profile traders, you could look ahead on the right, um, or not look ahead, just look along on the right side if you uh, are a little bit confused with the profile and how everything works, how it looks. I know it could be confusing. It's like, what the hell am I looking at? A bunch of letters? <laughs> but when I break it down, um, kind of makes a lot more sense what's going on. So let's get into it. Um, I'm just going to mark up my charts before we get into it. Um, so we have today's low around 28.95. And what else I like to mark up is the value areas. So today's value area low is 29.10.75. Um, and then today's value area high is right at the high of the day. So we built value higher today compared to Friday. So on the left over here, we got Friday's levels, right? Um, coming into today's session, I was looking at Friday's levels. Friday's high, Friday's low, Friday's close, um, and, and Friday's value. So today, we actually opened up inside of Friday's range. And then uh, we started pushing into Friday's value area low. So that was in my, my uh, morning prep. I started doing some pre-market preps. Um, and straight out of the pre-market prep, you'll read, if we do come up into value 29.04, look for rotation back up to value area high 29.16. 29.16, you can see that was Friday's value area high. So when price comes back into value, you see we kind of just accepted back into the range early on today. Um, this is the overnight profile right here. So we could see that overnight, we started to push below um, Friday's low, right? We started to push below, but we hop back in. Coming into the open, we were already accepted back into Friday's range. So the odds were very likely that we were gonna come back up into value, Friday's value, and when that happens, you look for a move to the other side of value, which was 29.16.75. So let me go back and uh, mark up these charts. Um, but yeah, we got that rotation and then value, once we got above value, it just spiked up. Um, I had a target at the overnight high from last night, Sunday, but we didn't quite make it up there. The market kind of ran out of time, lost its steam up at uh, 29.37. So today's close, uh, that looked a little ugly. We had a little flush inventory correction into the close. Um, so let me go ahead and mark value back up. Value area highs, 29.37. Value area low, 29.10. So this is what the distribution looks like. So today I, I mentioned in the regular trading hours, I was like, all right, we are, you know, we're, it's looking strong, but we do have a pretty poor structure beneath us. And I was saying that during G and H period as we were making new highs of the day. Um, and why was it a poor structure? Well, it was leaving these single prints, all right? So you can notice that at the top, we have a nice distribution. And then at the bottom, we have a nice distribution, um, kind of a double distribution day. And then in the middle, it's just like, whoa, what's going on here? It's like empty, right? So that's, that's why I'm saying it's a poor structure because there's not enough time and value that was spent at these levels. Kind of just blew right through due to the non-selling. These sellers, I don't know where they're at. They've just been trapped in the basement somewhere because <laughs> today's breath was negative. Today's breath was negative all day and we still moved higher. And the breadth, that just means that there was more selling volume than buying, which is weird, minus two. So twice as, met, twice as much selling than buying, which doesn't really look like. Um, so yeah, we had a little poor structure and at the end of the day, we came down and took some of those longs out. So the longs got bored, they started puking their positions and the inventory got corrected a bit. 
and look exactly where we stopped was right at the last single print F period. Um, and then now tonight, this is tonight's profile, the green. Tonight's profile is coming back down to fill the rest of those single prints. And then uh, we got some more down here, D period. Um, D period left some single prints as well. So we could look, this thing is inside of value tonight still. Um, so we'll look to see if it breaks out of value, if it breaks below value area low, which is right here, 29.10, that we could look for a move down to today's low, which is around 28.95.50. Um, or if we do come down to test value area low and we hold that level and we don't really push below, or even if we do push below value a little bit and then come right back in, then that would be a nice long. So what I'm saying is if we come down below value, below 29.10, and we start pumping, let's say like 29.08, 29.07, but then we quickly get back into value, that's gonna be a good long opportunity from this value area low right back up to value area high, 29.37. So a nice 20 point move you could catch tonight. So we had a nice decent range today. Last night's range was pretty fat as well. We had a little selling. Um, so let's see what goes on tonight. Like I said, if it drops below value, comes back in, look for a long back up to first target today's close. And then today's high is right above here. Um, pretty much the same as the value area high. So that there's some resistance up into there. If we get above there, should be used as support. Um, and then a move up to Sunday's high, 29.47. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what's what I think is going to happen. We break below value a little bit and then come back inside. Um, but if we do start pumping below value, then that bet is off. And if we start spending a lot of time below value and not hop back in, then we could look for that lower target, previous low, and then Sunday's low. Um, but yeah, the overnight high right now is right here. Overnight low right now is around here. So I just move these. Everybody thinks that I have them automatically set. That is not true. I... Uh, like to mark up my charts manually. So that's pretty much the plan. If we're stuck in value, then you just wanna be getting long near the value area high for rotation back up to value area high, or did I just say value area high? <laughs> you wanna be getting long at value area low for a move back up to value area high, vice versa. If we stay back in value, um, once we get up here to 29.37, then you do the opposite. You get short up here down to value area low. So yeah, hope you hope I'm not confusing you guys. Pretty much all value is is 70% of where the day spent its time. So that's where between these levels, that is where 70% of the day's trading took place. I mean, notice we left a poor high today. So once you see a poor high, that means the buyers are kind of just trapped. Um, trapped. Yeah, <laughs> the buyers are just trapped momentarily it doesn't mean that you know the buyers aren't going to come back or will we'll never get back up to that level but that just means they're trapped up there and uh you could when you see that in real time like if you were looking at uh during l period when that went down it was about right here sometime around uh 15 what's 15 three o'clock somewhere around three o'clock <clears throat> This thing put in that double top or poor high if you're looking at the profile. And that's where the buyers kind of got trapped. And that's where, you know, they were like, all right, not enough, uh, not enough buying was going on up there. So they got stuck and then uh, they started puking their position as they weren't getting any more action to the upside. So when you see a poor high like that in real time, you kind of you could get short really quickly and just put a stop literally a couple ticks above that that poor high so that would have worked out pretty nicely into the close you don't want to fall in love with those positions as they're kind of more fast trades but that is a a good trade that a lot of profile traders will take if they see a poor high um they'll just get short right right near it a couple ticks away until it stops working so 
you're literally only risking a few ticks if you get the right entry and you could just hold that short until you get trailed out or if it comes back up and takes you out and makes new highs on the day um but yeah that's some profile talk that's what uh went down today um and for tonight like i said look for a move if we get out of value um if we get below 29.10 look for a move down to 28.95 but if we quickly hop back into value um look for a move back up to value area high we might wake up on a, a gap up situation who knows That'll only happen if we start moving back um, above 29.37, if we could get up there. But we are hanging below today's close, so I think we're going to test value area low first. But we shall see. So that's what I got for you. Um, hope you enjoyed the little review and learned something about the profile. Uh, before we leave, I have this uh, bigger, longer-term uh, chart bigger balance area type thing from 29.30 to 28.10. So if we're not able, so we did peak above that 29.30s today, but we weren't able to hold above there, right? We weren't able to hold above there. And we came right back into this major balance area. So we're, st we're still balanced out near the top of this um, balance area near 29.30s. But if we can't get outside of there today or tomorrow, even tonight, um, we should, we'll either see more balance here or we'll get a little move lower. Um, get a little move lower somewhere into 2880s, looks like. That's some support right there. We have this three day little balance area here. So 2880s, 2870s is going to be used as a support if we're not able to break above 2930 in the next day or so. Um, so watch out for that. But yeah, above this 2930, man, we got lots of room. First target is going to be 2981 and then uh, back into 3000 somewhere. <laughs> Could happen this week, to be very frank with you. But we need above 29.30 for that to happen. So we'll see. Uh, keep those levels in mind. And I hope you enjoyed this review and use these levels to your advantage. Um, and that's about it. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Peace.